keeping with our royal wedding theme, we're joined now by Chef Bruno Mella, who has had the privilege to cook for both Prince Charles and Princess Anne, as well as Jack Chaplin, who is the chef and owner of Chaplin's. Welcome so much for coming Morning. on the show, guys. This is exciting. You cooked for... Uh... Yeah, it was <clears throat> back in London. <coughs> Excuse me, at the RNVR Club, which is the Royal Naval Volunteer Reserve, which Prince Charles was when he was younger. And um, he had a portrait luncheon, and I happened to be the chef. What the was club. that like? It was Did he like the food? <laughs> yeah, oh, he, oh, he never, never did. They made really simple, though. Yeah. You know, like some of the things um, Jack's going to show you today. The, the Queen, if she goes, she normally has chicken. Very simple. It's not. Lots of sauces because very healthy. Very healthy, yeah. So okay. it's pretty, you know, and Princess Anne the same. Well, Jack, you want to tell us what you have here? <coughs> well, we have a, um, a cottage pie. I guess uh, Borough Research. They're going to be serving that uh, at the wedding. Uh, reception uh, today, and uh, uh, most people, in, uh, I think, in America, they uh, they're making cottage pie. They don't realize it because uh, cottage pie is with beef, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, shepherd's pie is with lamb. Oh. So um, what we normally do is we brown off the beef. Uh, uh, down at Chaplin's, we use um, some really nice beef from uh, um, it's Four Mile River Farms down mm -hmm. in Old Lyme, and uh, so that's the beef I use. It's really excellent. Uh, uh, and uh, we we'll just saute off the beef, and uh, we add some onions, carrots, and then uh, some uh, veal stock or beef broth or beef bouillon, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Uh, when the beef is browned up and the onions, we add a little bit of flour just to uh, tighten it up to make uh, uh, to thicken the sauce a little bit. And uh, then uh, we add the peas, right? I like to let the beef cool and then add the peas at the end so you don't lose the color of the peas. Mm. And then uh, we top it. Um, Bruno actually didn't even know, but uh, nutmeg is... Uh, uh, is the nutmeg state they call it Connecticut? Yeah, so, right. But uh, we, uh, he, yeah. he, uh, we grated some <laughs> nutmeg into the mashed potatoes Whoops. and uh, added uh, cheddar cheese on top and bake it. And, uh, and that's so the cottage pie. That's the cottage, cottage pie. pie. We're yeah. going to send you guys upstairs to cook this because this oh, looks absolutely. so oh, good. Absolutely. I want to dig into it. Let's yeah. talk about dessert now because you said you know some of Prince William's well, favorite yeah, desserts. Prince William's favorite dessert was the banana pie or tart. Which is right here. Which in is the front. right here. And it's um, a basic like banana cream pie base. It's like a thick custard. Sliced bananas, but they're tossed in cinnamon and sugar. And then you can decorate it. Um, Princess Di used to make two or three, get the chef to make, I'm sure she didn't make them. She got the chef, <laughs> chef to make two or three of them. And she used to say, whatever keeps the boys happy, I'm happy with, which is, which is good. So we serve that. And then also the trifle is very English, which is a jam base sponge, mm. which we make ourselves. And then fresh Sponge fruit. is a white cake. White cake. Okay. Uh, which yeah. One, yeah, um, and then, uh, or a Vic we, we call it in England Victoria sponge, because when Victoria was around, that's what they did. So yeah. then you have the, uh, what you call uh, jello. Mm -hmm. We call it jelly. It's I underneath see. that. And then the homemade custard and the fruit, you know. And this is a pear Elaine cart, uh, cart, tart, right. uh, tart that we serve. Um, a tart, a tort. Tort, yeah. <laughs> but actually, that, uh, that, that uh, Bruno, uh, Bruno's aunt, that was her family recipe that, that she passed it down to Bruno. Uh -huh. And uh, Bruno makes it at the restaurant for us. Terrific. And, uh, All so traditional English dishes. Uh, absolutely. Fantastic. Guys, thank you so much. We appreciate it. For more information on Chaplin's, we'll have that on our website. Oh, great. Now. Thank you. Dot com. We'll be right back after the break. You don't want to miss this when we come back. Rockapella is here to rock out in our studios. And I have to give a shout out to my nephew, Joshua Morosi. I mean, he's, Joshua, he couldn't be here today. He's, he's my assistant at, at the restaurant, and uh, he's just had some teeth extracted. He wished, he wished he could be here. <laughs> we'll put some of this in a blender for him. <laughs> back in a minute. Oh, thank you. Oh, we